There was nothing about the starry sky that night to suggest that strange and mysterious things would soon be happening. Hagrid, at last. And where did you get that motorbike? Borrowed it, Professor Dumbledore, sir. No problems, were there? No, sir. House was almost destroyed, but I got him out all right. Nestled in the bundle was a baby. Harry Potter, the boy who lived. For the next 11 years, Harry lived with his dreadful Aunt Petunia, Uncle Vernon, and cousin Dudley, the Dursleys. Then, one day, he received a letter inviting him to attend Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Told you, didn't I, Harry? Told you you was famous. Professor Quirrell. Harry, Professor Quirrell will be one of your teachers at Hogwarts. Potter, can't tell you how pleased I am to m meet you. What sort of magic do you teach, Professor Quirrell? D -d Defense against the d dark arts. Not that you need it, eh, P Potter? You'll be getting all your equipment, I suppose. I've got to pick up a new book on vampires myself. Must get on, lots to buy. Come on, Harry. Three up, two across. Right, stand back, Harry. Welcome to Diagon Alley. Just your wand left from Ollivander's. Oh yeah, and I still haven't got your birthday present. Hello? Good afternoon. Ah, yes. Yes, yes. I thought I'd be seeing you soon, Harry Potter. You have your mother's eyes. It seems only yesterday she was in here herself. Buying her first wand, ten and a quarter inches long, swishy, made of willow. Nice wand for charm work. Your father, on the other hand, favored a mahogany wand. Well, I say your father favored it. It's really the wand that chooses the wizard, of course. Well now, Mr. Potter, let's get started, shall we? If you'll kindly follow me. Have a look around, Mr. Potter. When you find a wand you like, pick it up and let's see if it likes you.
ebony and unicorn hair. Eight and a half inches. Springy. Stand over there, on that platform, to try your wand. My goodness, definitely not. Beechwood and dragon heartstring. Nine inches. Nice and flexible. No, definitely not. Beechwood and dragon heartstring. Nine inches. Nice and flexible. Holly and phoenix feather. Eleven inches. Nice and supple. Curious. I remember every wand I've ever sold, Mr. Potter. Every single wand. It so happens that the phoenix, whose tail feather is in your wand, gave another feather. Just one other. It is very curious indeed that you should be destined for this wand when its brother Why its brother gave you that scar? Yes. Curious indeed how these things happen. The wand chooses the wizard, remember? I think we must expect great things from you, Mr. Potter. After all, he who must not be named did great things. Terrible, yes. But great. Please retrieve the spell book that lies beyond. It will prove most valuable in all that lies ahead. Over here, Mr. Potter. Sardine flavor. Mmm. Tot. Mmm. Coconut. Mmm. Chocolate. Mmm. Pepuga flavor. Mm. Over here, Mr. Potter. Mm. Ugh. Liver. Mm. Mm. Chocolate. Ugh. Ugh. Earwax flavor. Mm. Toast. Ugh. 
earwax flavour. Ugh, fishy, sardine flavour. Flavor. Pick up this spell book to gain the flippendo knockback jinx. Oh, bravo. Yes, indeed. Oh, very good. Well done, Mr. Potter. Once you learn some more powerful magic, you'll be able to cast more powerful flippendo knockback jinxes. If you'd kindly follow me. Mmm, chocolate. A wizard card! Felix Summerby. 1447 to 1508. Inventor of cheering charms. These three large shields on the far wall can be flipped using your flippendo knockback jinx. Flip them in the correct order. Before continuing, it may be wise to collect the folio bruti.
these imps can be a nuisance. Try knocking them over with Flipendo. Then pick them up and lock them in the cages. If you'd kindly follow me. Alberta Tootil, 1391 to 1483, winner of the All England Wizarding Dueling Competition of 1430, famously overcame the favourite Samson Wiblin with a blasting curse. A pumpkin pasty. Mr. Potter. <laughs> With the knowledge contained in this book, you'll be able to cast more powerful spells. Here's a helpful hint from the book, just for you. Build up the power on your wand, but be careful. Don't overpower your spells, or you could end up in a spot of trouble. Mr. Potter. Godric Gryffindor. Medieval. 
Dates Unknown, co-founder of Hogwarts, gave his name to one of the four Hogwarts houses. If you'd kindly follow me. Hey, Harry. Happy birthday, Harry. She's beautiful. What's her name? Her name's Hedwig, and she's yours to keep. Thanks, Hagrid. We best be going now. The Hogwarts Express is leaving very soon, and you don't want to miss it. The train slowed right down and finally stopped. They followed Hagrid down to the edge of a great black lake. The fleet of little boats moved off all at once, gliding across the lake, which was as smooth as glass. Everyone was silent until... Ooh, wicked! One by one, each of the first years was sorted into his or her house. And what of Harry Potter? Not Slytherin. Not Slytherin. Not Slytherin, eh? Hey. Are you sure? You could be great, you know. It's all here, in your head. No? Well, if you're sure, better be Gryffindor! Hey, Harry! Hello! I'm Ron Weasley. I'm in Gryffindor, too. It's no surprise, really. All my brothers are in Gryffindor. So, why do you think Professor Dumbledore put the third for House of Bounds? I really don't know. We've got to follow that prefect. It's odd, because he usually gives us a reason why we're not allowed to go somewhere. I do think he might have told us prefects at least. That prefect's Percy, my other brother. How many brothers have you got? Too many. My name's Hermione Granger, by the way. And you are? Uh, Ron. Ron Weasley. Pleasure. You've got something on your nose. Huh? You must be Harry Potter. I know all about you, of course. Look out! Filch is coming! We'd better go! Gryffindors, follow me, please. Keep up! Come on, Harry! We'd better follow Percy up to the Gryffindor common room. Keep up, please, and follow me. Quickly now, come on. Go to the common room. This is the most direct path to the dormitory. Oh, and keep an eye on the staircases. They like to change. Come on, Harry. Get to the common room. We'd better follow Percy. Keep up, please, and follow me. Quickly now, come on. Follow me, everyone. Keep up.
Cassandra Vablatsky, 1894-1997, celebrated seer and author of Unfogging the Future. Liver? Keep up, please, and follow me. Quickly now, come on. Peeves, a poltergeist. <laughs> What fun! <laughs> Go away, Peeves, or the Baron will hear about this. I mean it. You want to watch out for Peeves. The bloody Baron's the only one who can control him. He won't even listen to us prefects. Keep up, please, and follow me. Quickly now, come on. Over here, Harry. Keep up, please, and follow me. Quickly now, come on. Follow me, everyone. Keep up. Gather round here. Password? You need a password to enter the common room. This year, it's Caput Draconis. Caput Draconis. Well done, young Gryffindor. That is indeed the correct password. Thanks, Harry. Password? Paracelsus, 1493 to 1541, renowned physician, alchemist, and surgeon. Mortis. Hey, you! Hey, you! <laughs> Spinach flavour? There's someone round here. Huh? 
card pack. Salazar Slytherin. Flavius Belby. Queen Maeve. Beatrix Bloxham. Celestino Warbeck. Salazar Slytherin. Medieval. Dates unknown. Co-founder of Hogwarts. Gave his name to one of the four Hogwarts houses. Flavius Belby. 1715 to 1791. Only wizard ever to survive a Lethifold attack. Queen Maeve. Medieval. Dates unknown. Legendary witch who trained young sorcerers in Ireland prior to the establishment of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Beatrix Bloxham. 1794 to 1810. Author of the Toadstool Tales a series of children's books since banned because they have been found to cause nausea and vomiting. Celestino Warbeck, 1917 to the present, popular singing sorceress. Alberta Tutil, 1391 to 1483. Winner of the All England Wizarding Dueling Competition of 1430. Famously overcame the favourite Samson Wiblin with a blasting curse. Grass flavour! Carlotta Pinkstone, 1922 to the present. Famous campaigner for lifting the International Confederation of Wizards' Statute of Secrecy and telling the non-magical that wizards still exist. Ms. Pinkstone has been imprisoned several times for her blatant and deliberate use of magic in public places. Bogey! Have you? Locomotor Mortis! Potter, shouldn't you be in the Gryffindor common room? 
well, well. Harry Potter. Locomotor Mortis! I have you. Password? Caput Draconis. Well done, young Gryffindor. That is indeed the correct password. Hey, Harry. Fred and George have set up a shop. You can trade all kinds of things with them for spells and really wicked stuff. Wow! I must go and see them. Where are they? Go through that door and through the reading room. There's a portrait on the other side. What's the password? Pig snout. Oh, and watch out for Percy. He hates being disturbed when he's studying. You'll need to stay out of his way. If you're careful, you should be able to creep past him. Wizard card! Adalbert Waffling 1899-1981 Famous Magical Theoretician You really should go and see Fred and George, Harry. They've got some brilliant stuff to trade. We were wondering when you'd turn up. Welcome to our shop. Feel free to browse our extensive range of wizard wheezes and magical merchandise. Everything priced at reasonable rates in the only currency universally accepted throughout Hogwarts, Bertie Bott's Every Flavor Beans. And as a special bonus, for just 10 beans you can have a dip into this chest and receive a special prize. Wow, I've got to try this. It sounds like fun, yes. But then, you haven't put your hand in yet. Have a good look around, Harry. And if you want to buy anything, just ask. How much is the Edgar Strulger card? It'll cost 30 beans. The limited edition Bertie Bot card. What does that cost? It'll cost 50 beans. Dung bombs? How much are they? It'll cost 20 beans. You can use dung bombs to play some great pranks. Just make sure you get out of the way before they explode. Albert Grunion, the inventor of the dung bomb. How much is that? It'll cost 30 beans. How much is a pack of stink pellets? It'll cost 20 beans. Stink pellets are a great way to stop prefects catching you. But I didn't tell you that, did I? this Bertie Bot's bean carrying bag? It'll cost 50 beans. Oh, 
A wizard card! Chauncey Oldridge. 1342 to 1379. First known victim of dragon pox. You can come back as often as you like, Harry. We'll be here. Hey! Come here! Hey! Okay, Harry. It's been a long day. I'm really tired, and I'm off to bed. Yuck! Grass flavour! Revolting! Vomit flavour! Morning, Harry. Do you know what class we've got first? It's potions, Harry. Ron can show you the way. Have you seen this notice board? I'm sure if you can find some of these missing things, you'll be rewarded. Have you seen this notice board? I'm sure if you can find some of these missing things, you'll be rewarded. Mmm, marmalade. Mmm, marmalade. Hello, Ron. It's potions first, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's down in one of the dungeons. Follow me, Harry. flavor pig snout Sardine flavour. Fish. Mm, fish. Oh. Sprout. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. Curry. A wizard card!
Jocunda Sykes. 1915 to the present. Famous for flying across the Atlantic on a broomstick. The first person to do so. Coconut. I need to go and find Ron. Mmm, <laughs> coffee. Oh, sprouts. Fishy. Sardine flavour. Mmm, <laughs> curry. flavour. A cauldron cake. Stink pellets. A wizard card pack. Paracelsus Devlin Whitehorn Curly Duke Norval Twonk Sasharissa Tugwood Devlin Whitehorn, 1945 to the present, founder of the Nimbus Racing Broom Company. Curly Duke, 1971 to the present, plays lead guitar with the popular wizarding band The Weird Sisters. Norval Twonk, 1888 to 1957, died saving a non-magical child from a runaway manticore, posthumously awarded the Order of Merlin first class. Sasharissa Tugwood, 1874 to 1966, pioneer of beautifying potions. Discovered pimple curing properties of bubotuba pus. Mmm, <laughs> 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 
hurry. A wizard card! <laughs> Lord Stoddard Withers, 1672 to 1769, breeder of flying horses. Ugh! Liver? Dependo! A wizard card! Montague Knightley 1506 to 1588 Wizard Chess Champion Ah, uh, Potter. Anything interesting happened last night? Sp mm -hmm. Coffee. A wizard card. Wilfred Elphick, 1112 to 1199, first wizard to be gored by an African Arumpent. Fishy! Sardine flavour! A cauldron cake! Stink pellets! Dung bombs! Booger flavour! Yuck! Grass flavour! A wizard card pack! Derwent Shimpling Donaghan Tremlett Chauncey Oldridge Curly Duke Daisy Dodderidge Derwent Shimpling, 1912 to the present, ate an entire venomous tentacular for a bet and survived, though is still purple.
Donoghan Tremlett. 1972 to the present day. Bass player with the popular wizarding band, The Weird Sisters. Daisy Dodderidge, fourteen sixty seven to fifteen fifty five, first landlady of the Leaky Cauldron. <laughs> Tripe. Gregory the Smarmy. Medieval, dates unknown. Famous originator of Gregory's unctuous unction. Potion to persuade the drinker that the giver is their very best friend. Alleged to have wormed his way into King Richard's confidence and thus made his fortune. And Ron. Mmm, <laughs> coconut. flavor. Ugh! Liver? A wizard card! Mungo Bonham. 1560 to 1659. Famous wizard healer, founded St. Mungo's Hospital for Magical Ailments and Injuries. A cauldron cake! <laughs> Yuck! Grass flavour! Revolting! Vomit flavour! A wizard card pack! Artemisia Lufkin Jocelyn Wadcock Greta Catchlove Wilfred Elphick Merton Graves Jocelyn Wadcock, 1911 to the present. 
chaser for Puddlemere United Quidditch team. Record for highest number of goals during British season this century against Ballycastle Bats, 1931. Greta Catchlove. 1960 to the present. Author of Charm Your Own Cheese. Merton Graves, 1978 to the present, plays cello with the popular wizarding band, The Weird Sisters. Booger flavour! Artemisia Lufkin, 1754 to... Pumpkin pasty! Oh! Sprout! Dung bombs! A wizard card! Booger flavor. Fishy sardine flavor. Spinach flavor. Revolting! Vomit flavour! A wizard card! Almeric Sawbridge 1602 to 1699 Famous for conquering the river troll that was terrorising those trying to cross the Y River. River troll in question believed to be one of the largest ever to exist in Britain with a weight of one tonne.
Tripe. A wizard card! Bridget Wenlock. 1202 to 1285. Famous Arithmancer. First to establish the magical properties of the number seven. Yuck! Grass flavour! A pumpkin pasty! Mmm! <laughs> curry! Dung bombs! Oh, sprouts. A wizard card. Fulbert the Fearful Miranda Goshawk Mungo Bonham Roderick Plumpton Xavier Rastrick Fulbert the Fearful 1014 to 1097. Famous for being so cowardly he never ventured out of his house. Died when a defensive charm backfired and the roof fell in. Miranda Goshawk, 1921 to the present, famous spell book writer. Roderick Plumpton, 1889 
1987. Seeker for England Quidditch team. Holds British record for fastest capture of snitch during game. Three and a half seconds. Xavier Rastrick. 1750 to 1836. Flamboyant wizard entertainer who vanished unexpectedly while tap dancing to a crowd of 300 in Painswick and was never seen again. Want to trade a wizard card, Harry? Yeah. Fancy trading wizard cards, Harry? Want to trade a wizard card, Harry? You have no cards to trade. Uric the Oddball. Medieval. Dates unknown. Highly eccentric wizard who is famed, among other things, for wearing a jellyfish for a hat. Wendelin the Weird. Medieval. Dates unknown. Alleged to have enjoyed being burnt at the stake so much that she allowed herself to be captured 14 times in various disguises. Glenda Chittock. 1964 to the present popular presenter of the WWN, Wizarding Wireless Network program, Witching Hour. Perpetua Fan Court. 1900 to 1991. Witch who invented the lunoscope. Gwenog Jones. 1968 to the present. Captain and beater of only all-female national Quidditch team, the Holyhead Harpies. Gideon Crumb. 1975 to the present. Plays bagpipes with the popular wizarding band, the Weird Sisters. Rowena Ravenclaw. Medieval. Dates unknown. Co-founder of Hogwarts. Gave her name to one of the four Hogwarts houses. Glenim Stork. 1920 to the present. Expert on the non-magical and author of many books, including People Who Notice, a study of awareness of magic in the non-magical.
Oh, sprout. Fishy, sardine flavor. Ugh, earwax flavor. Fishy, oh, sprout. Ugh, earwax flavor. Booger flavor. Mmm, toast. There's more to life than Quidditch, you know. There's more to life than Quidditch, you know. I need to go and find Ron. Mmm, coconut. Mmm, top booger flavour. Curry. Booger flavor. Spinach flavor. Mmm, marmalade. Booger flavor. Marmalade. Fishy, sardine, spinach flavor. Mmm, marmalade. Liver? Fish mm -hmm. coffee.
Mmm, coconut. Sardine flavour. A wizard card. Vomit flavor. Booga flavor. Ignatia Wildsmith, 1227 to 1320, the witch who invented flu powder. Mmm, coconut. Flavor. Oh, sprout. Mm, curry.
Yuck! Grass flavour! Fancy trading wizard cards, Harry? Oh! Bogey! Want to trade a wizard card, Harry? Why not? Gifford Ollerton, 1390 to 1441, famous giant slayer, killed the giant Hengist of Upper Barnton. I don't think the fat lady's really fat. She's just big boned. The sorting ceremony song is different every year. Harry, it's this way. Welcome to Hogwarts. Hogwarts has four houses. They are Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw and Slytherin. The hourglasses show which house has the greatest number of house points on any day. While you're here, your house will be like your family. Your triumphs will earn you points. Any rule breaking and you will lose points. At the end of the year, the house with the most points is awarded the House Cup. And let me tell you, it's about time Gryffindor won. Please try and remember, only prefects and teachers can award house points. And they can also take them away. Come on, Harry. Better get moving. Potions is in the dungeons. We don't want to be late. with the Slytherins. Snape's head of the Slytherin house. They say he always favours them. We'll be able to see if it's true. It's true then. Harry Potter's come to Hogwarts. This is Crab and this is Goyle. And my name is Malfoy. Draco Malfoy. <coughs> Think my name's funny, do you? No need to ask yours. Red hair and a hand-me-down robe? You must be a Weasley. 
You'll soon find out that some wizarding families are better than others, Potter. You don't want to go making friends with the wrong sort. I can help you there. I think I can tell who the wrong sort are for myself, thanks. Buzz off, Potter. You are here to learn the subtle science and exact art of potion making. As there is little foolish wand waving here, many of you will hardly believe this is magic. I don't expect you will really understand the beauty of this softly simmering cauldron with its shimmering fumes, the delicate power of liquids that creep through human veins, bewitching the mind, ensnaring the senses. I can teach you how to bottle fame, brew glory, even stop a death. If you aren't as big a bunch of dunderheads as I usually have to teach. Today, you will learn how to mix a Wiganweld healing potion. I want you all to collect the following three ingredients. Asphodel, Dittany, Wigan tree bark. Failure will be severely punished. The groundskeeper, Hagrid, may be able to help you with the first ingredient. Make sure you have these ingredients for your next potions lesson. It's Defense Against the Dark Arts with Professor Quiddle next. Class dismissed. Mr. Potter, you are testing my patience. Now get to your next lesson. We need to collect all those ingredients in time for the next potions lesson. We've got Defense Against the Dark Arts on the third floor now. Professor Quirrell's waiting. This lesson is with Professor Quirrell. I've been really looking forward to it. Good, good day, class. Today we are going to have a most illuminating experience when we l learn the wand lighting spell, Lumos. Not only can this light be used to illuminate dark areas, but it is also used to reveal s secrets. 
Lumos is also a useful spell to use against s spectral beasts, such as g g guy trashes and g g ghosts, provided you b b bathe them in the light from your wand. To learn the s spell, you, you must each enter the s spell challenge. N n Neville, how about you first? <laughs> Potter, your turn. The Lumos spell book is located on the other side of the crawl space. Find it and the spell will be yours. You must then return here to the classroom. Pumpkin pasty. That's a challenge shield, Mr. Potter. You need to collect them all for the highest grade. Flavor. A pumpkin pasty.
Talon Shield. Pumpkin pasty.
home shield. Wow, the Lumos spell! Maybe I could use this to find my way out. Dependo! Cake. Chocolate. Yuck! Grass flavour! A pumpkin pasty! <laughs> A wizard card! Dimpfner Firmage 1612 to 1698. Famously abducted by pixies while on holiday in Cornwall and lived in mortal dread of them thereafter. Failed to persuade the Ministry of Magic to have all pixies humanely destroyed.
cauldron cake. A pumpkin pasty. A challenge shield. Shield. A cauldron cake. shield. <laughs> Spinach flavour. Good one, Harry. I'll give that a b, -b, b That's all for t -t today. Class dismissed. Flying class next, Potter. Mmm, toast! 
Yuck! Grass flavour! Ugh! Earwax flavour! I'll show you where the flying lesson is. Follow me. Find yours, love. Let's go onto the pitch.
great! A copy of Magical Theory by Adalbert Waffling. Now I just need to return it to the common room. Good afternoon, class. Good afternoon, Madam Hooch. Welcome to your first flying lesson. Well, what are you waiting for? Everyone step up to their broomsticks. You see before you a course comprising enchanted rings. What you must do is to fly through as many of these rings as possible in the correct order. Are you ready, Potter? Begin! Now for the examination, where a grade will be awarded depending on how well you complete the course. A ring. That's a few you've missed, Potter. That's a few you've missed, Potter. An outstanding display, Mr. Potter. You receive the highest grade. A distinction. Well done. If you want to practice flying, Mr. Potter, come over here. Well done, Mr. Potter. You've earned your house a few points there. Longbottom, your turn. Whoa! Oh! Mi Mr. 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 Longbottom. Oh dear, it's a broken wrist. Come on now, it's all right, up you get. None of you are to move while I take this boy to the hospital wing. Come oh. on, dear.
Did you see his face? Maybe if the fat lump had given this a squeeze, he would have remembered to fall on his fat backside. Give it here, Malfoy! No. I think I'll leave it somewhere for Longbottom to find. How about on the roof? What's the matter, Potter? Bit beyond your reach? Give it here, Malfoy, or I'll knock you off your broom. What's up, Potter? Too slow to catch me? Think you can catch me? Come on then, Potter. What are you waiting for, Potter? Give up now if you're afraid. What are you waiting for, Potter? Give up now if you're afraid. What are you waiting for, Potter? Give up now if you're afraid. Can't you fly that broom, Potter? What's up, Potter? Too slow to catch me? Can't you fly that broom, Ow. Potter? Ooh. What are you waiting for, Potter? Give up now if you're afraid. Can't you fly that broom, Potter? Ow! What are you waiting for, Potter? Give up now if you're afraid. Don't think this is the last of it, Potter. I'd take you on any time on my own. Tonight, if you want, Wizard's Jewel. What's the matter? Never heard of a Wizard's Jewel. Of course he has. I'm his second. Meet me tonight on the fourth floor. Ones only. No contact. Dear Harry, would you like to come and have a cup of tea with me this afternoon? I want to hear all about your first day. Hagrid. Hagrid's bound to be in his hut. Come on, Harry, follow me.
Make yourselves at home. This is Ron. Another Weasley, eh? <laughs> I spent half my life chasing your twin brothers away from the forest. Hey Ron, somebody broke into Gringotts. Listen, believed to be the work of dark wizards or witches unknown, Gringotts goblins, while acknowledging the breach, insist nothing was taken. The vault in question, number 713, had been emptied earlier that very same day. That's odd. That's the vault that Hagrid and I went to. Hagrid, I need to collect some ingredients for potions cast. Do you know a good place to find plants in the school grounds? I have a lot of strange things growing out near my garden. You're welcome to go take a look. Be careful, mind. Wouldn't go wandering round at night. Then again, there are some pretty fearful things round here during the day. There you go. Be careful, Harry. There must be a door around here somewhere. Maybe I should try using the Lumos spell. Merwin the Malicious. Medieval. Dates unknown. Credited with the invention of many unpleasant jinxes and hexes.
wizard card! Burdock Muldoon 1429-1490 Chief of Wizards Council 1448-50 Wizard card! Morgan Le Fay. Medieval. Dates unknown. King Arthur's half-sister. Dark sorceress. Enemy of Merlin.
Thanks very much for getting the magical theory book, Harry. Have a wizard card. Mopsus Ancient Greek Soothsayer who vanquished the seer Calchas in a contest of their powers. People only die in proper jewels. You know, with real wizards. The most you and Malfoy will be able to do is send sparks at each other. Neither of you knows enough magic to do any real damage. I bet he expected you to refuse anyway. If he tries to curse you, you'd better dodge it. Because I can't remember how to block them. Half past eleven, we'd better go. I can't believe you're going to do this, Harry. You? Go back to bed. Come on. Big snout. Come here. Grunian, the inventor of the dung bomb. How much is that? It'll cost 30 beans. Albrick Grunian, 1803 to 1882, inventor of the dung bomb. How much is the Edgar Struga card? It'll cost 30 beans. Edgar Struelger, 1703 to 1798, inventor of the sneaker scope. The limited edition Bertie Bot card. What does that cost? It'll cost 50 beans. Bertie Bot, 1935 to the present. Inventor of Bertie Bott's Every Flavor Beans. Dung Bombs! Stink Pellets! Stink pellets! A pumpkin pasty! Keep collecting the beans, Harry. They'll come in very useful at Hogwarts, won't they, Fred? about Gryffindor? Do you only care about yourselves? I don't want Slytherin to win the House Cup. And you'll lose all the points I got from Professor McGonagall for knowing about switching spells. Go away! 
All right, but I warned you. You just remember what I said when you're on the train home tomorrow. You're so... Now what am I going to do? That's your problem. We've got to go. We're going to be late. I'm coming with you. Come on, Harry. We have to get moving. Follow me to the fourth floor. flavor. Ugh! Earwax flavor. Fishy, sardine flavour. A cauldron cake. Hesper Starkey Newt Scamander Carlotta Pinkstone Greta Catchlove Celestina Warbeck Hesper Starkey, 1881 to 1973, witch who studied the use of phases of the moon in potion making. Newt Scamander, 1897 to the present, celebrated author of Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. Stink pellets! A wizard card! Herpo the Fowl Ancient Greek First known creator of the basilisk Mmm, curry. Mmm, peppermint. Mmm, toast.
Over here, Potter. Brought reinforcements, have you? Good. They can watch you lose. Follow me and let's finish this. Huh? Bye-bye, Gryffindor. Ha ha ha! Looks like you've fallen into the Forbidden Corridor. It's a good job I let Professor Snape know. He'll be there any second now. Bye-bye. Malfoy! There's only one way out of here and it's locked. Do you know any spells that can unlock it? Well, as it happens, I do. It's the Alahamora unlocking spell, but I don't actually know how to cast it. However, I do remember reading somewhere that the Alahamora spellbook is kept in the library. I've heard there's a shortcut to the library down that corridor. You're going to have to find the Alahamora spellbook, Harry. Then come back here and get us out! Careful, Harry. Mm, chocolate. Flavor. Lumos. Mmm, <laughs> coconut. Mmm, <laughs> marmalade. Vomit flavor. Mmm, <laughs> peppermint. <laughs> Spinach flavor. Flavor. Ugh! Earwax flavor. Revolting vomit flavor. Revolting! Vomit flavor! Mmm! Coconut! Mmm! Coffee! Ugh! Oh, yuck! Grass flavor! Flavor. Mmm, <laughs> coconut.
The Alohomora Spellbook. Orsino Thruston, 1976 to the present, plays drums with the popular wizarding band, the Weird Sisters. Thank goodness that's over with. It isn't over yet. We still have to get back to the Gryffindor common room. Cast Alahamor out the door and it will open up. Go before someone catches us. This way. Through this door, Harry. Close. Ron, what are you... Harry, I meant this door.
Come on, hurry! Hurry up! Wong Po, 1443 to 1539, Chinese wizard who discovered the uses of powdered fireball eggs. I hope we don't run into any teachers. Caput Draconis. <laughs> Tripe. There's nothing more we can do. I'm turning in. I don't know about you, but I'm so tired. Fishy! Sardine flavor! Oh, Bogey! at its feet. I was too busy with its heads. No, not the floor. It was standing on a trap door. It's obviously guarding something. What could possibly need such heavy protection? It's either really valuable, or really dangerous, or both. Well, it's going to have to wait. We're going to be late for charms class. Follow me, Harry. flavor yuck grass flavor mm, toast pig snout Yeah. Mm. Oh. Ugh. Oh. Mm. 
chocolate. Mmm, <gasps> chocolate. Mmm, mm. oh, sprout. Flavor. Oh, bogey. Oh, sprout. Hmm, peppermint. A wizard card. <laughs> Bombs. A cauldron cake. Fishy sardine flavor. A wizard card pack. Gunhilda of Gorsmore Herpo the Fowl Gwenog Jones Gideon Crumb Daisy Dodderidge Gunhilda of Gorsmore 1556 to 1639. One-eyed, hump-backed witch, famous for developing a cure for dragon pox. Oh, sprout! Fancy trading wizard cards, Harry? Fancy trading wizard cards, Harry? Sure.
Merlin. Medieval. Dates unknown. Most famous wizard of all time. Sometimes known as the Prince of Enchanters. Part of the court of King Arthur. Elfrida Clagg, 1612 to 1687, chieftainess of Warlock's Council. Gulliver Pokeby, 1750 to 1839, expert on magical birds, first to identify meaning of augury song. Glamour Peak. 1677 to 1761, famous slayer of the sea serpent of Cromer. Andros the Invincible, ancient Greek, alleged to have been the only known wizard to produce a Patronus the size of a giant. Gaspard Shingleton, 1959 to the present, celebrated inventor of the self-stirring cauldron. Laverne de Montmorency, 1823 to 1893, inventor of many love potions. Hengist of Woodcroft. Medieval, dates unknown. Driven away from his home by non-magical persecutors, Hengist is supposed to have settled in Scotland, where he founded the village of Hogsmeade. The Three Broomsticks Inn is alleged to be Hengist's old home. Yardley Platt. 1446 to 1557, serial goblin killer. Want to trade a wizard card, Harry? Fancy trading wizard cards, Harry? You can't trade unless you have spare wizard cards. Pumpkin pasty! Mmm! <laughs> coconut! Dung bombs! <laughs> A wizard card! <laughs> Flavor. <laughs> Fishy sardine flavor. <laughs> oh, bogey. Oh, sprout.
marmalade. Ugh! Earwax flavour! A wizard card! Mmm, coconut. Ugh, liver. A wizard card pack. Merlin Mirabella Plunkett Jocelyn Wadcock Laverne de Montmorency Gondoline Oliphant Mirabella Plunkett 1839 to unknown date. Famous for falling in love with a merman in Loch Lomond while on holiday. When her parents forbade her to marry him, she transfigured herself into a haddock and was never seen again. Gondoline Oliphant. 1720 to 1799. Famous for studies of life and habits of trolls. Clubbed to death in the Cotswolds while sketching. Yuck! Grass flavour! You moth! Chocolate. A wizard card. <laughs> Ethelred the Ever Ready. Medieval. Dates unknown. Famous for taking offence at nothing and cursing innocent bystanders. Died in jail. A pumpkin pasty. Dung bombs. Ugh, liver A wizard card Helga Hufflepuff Medieval 
dates unknown, co-founder of Hogwarts, gave her name to one of the four Hogwarts houses. Curry. Sardine flavour. Flavor. Mmm, coffee. A cauldron cake. Stink pellets. Elfrida Clagg. Ignatia Wildsmith, 1227 to 1320, the witch who invented flu powder. Thaddeus Thurkel, 1632 to 1692, famous for producing seven squib sons and turning them all into hedgehogs in disgust. Albrick Grunion. Tripe. A wizard card. Cliodney. Medieval. Dates unknown. Irish druidess who discovered properties of moon dew. Curry. Mmm, chocolate. 
chocolate. Charms on the second floor, Potter. Mmm, marmalade. Mmm, chocolate. Mmm, toast. Tripe. Booger flavour. There's more to life than Quidditch, you know. Shouldn't you be in charms on the second floor, Potter? Flavor. Revolting! Vomit flavor! Mmm! Ugh! Earwax flavor! Ugh! Liver! Spinach flavor! Oh, sprout. 
out. A wizard card. Mmm, <laughs> marmalade. A pumpkin pasty. Bombs. Stink pellets. <laughs> Yuck. Grass flavor. A wizard card. <laughs> Mm, revolting vomit flavor. Coconut. A wizard card. <laughs> Dung bombs. Sardine flavor. Fishy sardine flavor. Revolting vomit flavor. Mmm, curry. Liver? A wizard card! Bombs. A pumpkin pasty. A wizard card pack. Burdock Muldoon. Balfour Blaine. Gifford Ollerton.
Roderick Plumpton Harry Potter Balfour Blaine, 1566 to 1629, established the Committee on Experimental Charms. Harry Potter, the boy who lived. go to charms class. Fancy trading wizard cards, Harry? Yep.
fancy trading wizard cards, Harry? Merlin. Grogan Stump. 1770 to 1884. Popular Minister for Magic. Appointed 1811. Circe. Ancient Greek. Lived on the island of Aea. Expert at turning lost sailors into pigs. Tilly Toke, 1903 to 1991, gained Order of Merlin first class for saving the lives of non-magical tourists during the Ilfracombe incident of 1932, when a dragon swooped down on a beach full of sunbathers. Archibald Alderton, 1568 to 1623. Famous for blowing up the hamlet of Little Dropping in Hampshire whilst attempting to magically mix a birthday cake. Beaumont Marjorie Banks, 1742 to 1845. Pioneer of herbology and collector of many rare and magical flowers. Discovered gillyweed. Bowman Wright, 1492 to 1560, famous for developing the Golden Snitch. Dunbar Oglethorpe, 1968 to the present, Chief of Quabble, Quidditch Union for the Administration and Betterment of the British League and its Endeavours. Honoria Nutcombe, 1665 to 1743, founded the Society for the Reformation of Hags. Elodora Ketteridge, 1656 to 1729, witch who discovered the use of gillyweed when she nearly suffocated after eating it and recovered only when she stuck her head into a bucket of water. Havelock Sweeting, 1634 to 1710, unicorn expert, helped set up unicorn reservations throughout Britain. Herman Wintringham, 1974 to the present, plays lute with the popular wizarding band, the Weird Sisters. Justus Pillywickle. 1862 to 1953, celebrated head of the Department of Magical Law Enforcement. Leopoldina Smethick, 1829 to 1910, first British witch to referee a Quidditch match. Queen Maeve. Myron Wagtail. 1970 to the present. Lead singer of popular wizarding band, The Weird Sisters. Oswald Beamish. 1850 to 1932. Pioneer of Goblin Rites. Dorcas Wellbeloved, 1812 to 1904, founder of the Society for Distressed Witches.
Albus Dumbledore, currently Headmaster of Hogwarts. Harry, Professor Flitwick's waiting. Flitwick's teaching us Spongify this morning, Harry. Let's go in. Good morning, class. Today's lesson will most assuredly involve learning how to cast the softening charm, Spongify. Once you have managed to collect the Spongify spellbook, the Spongify charm will be yours. You must then return here to the classroom. Wizard card pack! Morgan Le Fay Gifford Ollerton Mungo Bonham Mungo Bonham Rowena Ravenclaw Spongify Spellbook!
shield. <laughs> A pumpkin pasty. Shield. A pumpkin pasty. Shield.
Mangify! A challenge shield! <laughs> A wizard card!
Sand Shield. A wizard card! A wizard card! Mirabella Plunkett 1839 to unknown date. Famous for falling in love with a merman in Loch Lomond while on holiday. When her parents forbade her to marry him, she transfigured herself into a haddock and was never seen again. Spongify! Pumpkin pasty. A challenge shield. A challenge shield. Thank <laughs> you. 
children cake. Good effort. I'll give you a B. I have a message from Professor Snape. He wants to remind you all that your next potions lesson is coming up shortly, and there will be house points deducted if any of you forget your ingredients. That is all for today. Class dismissed. The Spongify charm is most useful for hard-to-reach areas. Hurry! 
You heard what Professor Flickwick said. We'd better get those ingredients of potions. Professor Snape? He doesn't want to teach potions. Everyone knows he's after Quirrell's job. Knows an awful lot about the dark arts, Snape. I'll meet you at Hagrid's. A wizard card! Let's trade a wizard card, Harry. Yeah. Cornelius Agrippa, 1486 to 1535, celebrated wizard imprisoned by the non-magical for his writings. Crispin Cronk, 1795 to 1872 sent to Azkaban for continuing to keep sphinxes in his back garden despite repeated warnings. Cyprian Udall, 1312 to 1357, only Quidditch referee ever to be killed during a match. The originator of the curse was never caught but believed to have been a member of the crowd. Musidora Barquith, 1520-1666, composer of the unfinished Wizarding Suite, which features an exploding tuba. Its performance has been banned since its last performance in 1902, when it blew the roof out of Ackerley Town Hall. Glover Hipworth 1742 to 1805. 
inventor of the pepper-up potion, cure for the common cold. Roland Kegg 1903 to the present President of English Gobstones team Heathcote Barbary 1974 to the present Plays rhythm guitar with the popular wizarding band The Weird Sisters Mr Potter Tell me, what would I get if I added powdered root of asphodel to an infusion of wormwood? I don't know, sir. Pity. Clearly fame isn't everything, is it, Mr. Potter? I do hope you managed to collect the ingredients I asked you for. I'd hate to have to deduct house points. Got those ingredients yet, Potter? Harry?
Hmm. That copy of a beginner's guide to transfiguration I was looking for. Now I just need to return it to the common room. You see before you a course comprising enchanted rings. What you must do is to fly through as many of these rings as possible in the correct order. Are you ready, Potter? Begin! Mr. Ring. You can't afford to miss many more rings, Potter. That's a few you've missed, Potter. Mr. Potter, you receive the highest grade, a distinction. Well done. If you want to practice flying, Mr. Potter, come over here. You see before you a course comprising enchanted rings. What you must do is to fly through as many of these rings as possible in the correct order. Are you ready, Potter? Begin! That's a few you've missed, Potter. That's a few you've... An outstanding display, Mr. Potter. You receive the highest grade, a distinction. Well done. If you want to practice flying, Mr. Potter, come over here. Hagrid, you know all about magical creatures. Do you know anything about that dog on the third floor? How do you know about Fluffy? Fluffy? Yeah, he's mine. Bought him off a Greek chappy I met in the pub last year. I lent him to Dumbledore to guard the... Yes? Um, never mind. That's top secret, that is. You forget that dog, and you forget what is guarding. That's between Professor Dumbledore and Nicholas Flamel. Nicholas Flamel? Why does that name sound familiar? I shouldn't have said that. I should not have said that. I think you'd better get your ingredients before it gets dark. There's nothing more to do, so I'm for bed.
cauldron cake. Foxies, lots of them. Nintendo. Bye. Old truckles, they're bound to be guarding the Wigan tree bark. Nintendo! Spongify! Nintendo! Spongify! Nintendo! 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 Spongify!
pumpkin pasty. Spongify! Thanks for finding a beginner's guide to transfiguration, Harry. Here's a wizard card. Come on, Harry. The Halloween feast is about to begin. Let's get to the Great Hall. Locomotive Pig Snout. Locomotive Mortis. Hey. Pig Snout. Come here. Watch out you aren't seen by a prefect, Harry. I'd get back to your common room as quickly as you can. Dung bombs! Stink pellets. <laughs> A 
Anything else? Hey! Locomotor Mortis! Hey! Hide gloves. Just what I was looking for.
hurry! Hurry up! Where's Hermione? Pavati Patel said she wouldn't come out of the girls' bathroom on the second floor. She said that she's been in there all afternoon, crying. Troll! In the dungeon! Troll! In the dungeon! I thought you would to know. Silence! Everyone will please not panic. Prefects will lead their house back to the dormitories. Teachers will follow me to the dungeons. I've just thought, Hermione, what's about her? She doesn't know about the troll. We've got to find Hermione, Harry! How could a troll get in? Don't ask me! They're supposed to be really stupid! Can you smell something? I think the troll's left the dungeon. It's in the girls' bathroom! Ah! Hermione! to hit that spongify symbol, it will be stunned, Spongify! But only if you get out the way at the last minute. <laughs> Dependo! <laughs> Come on, Harry! It's getting weaker!
it dead? I don't think so. Just knocked out. Wicked! Spongify! Spongify! That was close. Oh my goodness. Explain yourselves, both of you. Well, what it is? It's my fault, Professor McGonagall. Miss Granger. I went looking for the troll. I read about them and thought I could handle it. But I was wrong. If Harry and Ron hadn't come and found me, I'd probably be dead. Be that as it may, it was an extremely foolish thing to do. I would have expected more rational behavior on your part, and I am very disappointed in you, Miss Granger. Five points will be taken from Gryffindor for your serious lack of judgment. As for you two gentlemen, I just hope you realize how fortunate you are. Not many first-year students could take on a fully-grown mountain troll and live to tell the tale. Five points will be awarded to each of you for sheer dumb luck. Perhaps you ought to, to go. Hard to get us out of trouble like that. Mind you, we did save her from a full-grown mountain troll. Thanks. What are friends for? That was exhausting, Harry. I'm off to bed. See you later. That was close. Do you know what lesson we've got first thing? It's potions, Harry. We've got to learn how to mix the Wigan World potion. 
I hope you've collected all of the ingredients. Follow me, Harry. Thanks, Harry, for getting the dragon hide gloves. Have a wizard card. Professor Snape's waiting. Harry, Professor Snape's waiting. Come on, Harry! Hurry up! You have collected all the required ingredients for the Wiganweld potion. The Wiganweld potion is in the large cauldron over there. You can fill your potion vial when required. Potter, where would you look if I told you to find me a bazaar? I don't know, sir. Thought you wouldn't open a book before coming, eh, Potter? For your information, Potter, a bizarre is a stone taken from the stomach of a goat, and it will save you from most poisons. A less powerful version of this is today's lesson. The antidote for common poisons. I want you all to collect the following three ingredients. Flobberworm mucus, pufferpod spores, and moon dew. Make sure you have these ingredients for your next potions lesson. It's Abology next, Harry. Abology Greenhouse 1 is outside in the grounds. Come 
hurry! Hurry up! Come on, Harry. Professor Sprout's waiting for us inside. I've heard we have to watch out for the venomous tentacular. Ugh. Today's lesson will involve learning how to cast a severing charm. The proper incantation for this charm is Defindo. You will see that a crawl space has been revealed in the wall. Beyond this is the Defindo challenge. Mr. Potter, if you wouldn't mind coming forward, please. The Defindo spellbook is located on the other side of the crawl space. Once you have managed to collect it, the Defindo charm will be yours. You must then return here to the classroom. Do you understand, Mr. Potter? Spongify! 
Ninjify! Shield. A cauldron cake. Flavor. Nintendo. Nintendo. Uh, uh. Mm, fishy sardine flavor. Sardine! Oh. Uh, a challenge shield! Mmm! Uh. Mmm! Marmalade! Oh! Booger flavor! Oh! Bogey! Pumpkin pasty. Mmm, <laughs> toast. Fishy. Sard. Mmm, curry.
The Defindo spell book. Ugh, liver, mm, toast, mm, curry, Dependo. Gifford Ollerton, 1390 to 1441, famous giant slayer, killed the giant Hengist of Upper Barnton. Hedwig! Booger flavor! Lumos! Treat. 
A wizard card! Shield.
Wi-Fi. Spongify. Almeric Sawbridge.
There was nothing Pumpkin pasty!
Talon Shield. Shield. Well done, Mr. Potter. You have successfully learned the Defindo charm. However, you do not yet have the required skills to take on a fully grown venomous tentacula. It is a fearsome thing, and its bite is quite poisonous. Please follow me. Done. That effort deserves an A. That is all for today. Class dismissed. Anyway, I'm worn out. I'm off to bed. There's nothing more we can do. I'm for bed.
Happy Christmas! You too? Will you look at this? I've got some presents. What did you expect? Turnips? If that's what I think it is, they're really rare and really valuable. What is it? It's an invisibility cloak. I'm sure it is. Look, Hedwig is back. She has a message from Hermione. Read it, Harry. Merry Christmas, Harry. Merry Christmas, Ron. Ever since Hagrid mentioned Nicholas Flamel, I've been trying to find out who he is. I've been wondering for a while if information about Flamel isn't somewhere in the restricted section of the library. Unfortunately, you need a specially signed note from one of the teachers to look in any of the restricted books, and I know you'll never get one. I think there's a book called A Study of Recent Developments in Wizardry in there that might give us a clue to who he is. You will keep looking while I'm away, won't you? And send me an owl if you find anything. See you soon, Hermione. Come on, Harry. Hermione said we need to find that book. A study of recent developments in wizardry in the restricted section of the library. I've heard there are books in the restricted section containing powerful dark magic never taught at Hogwarts. A pumpkin pasty! Musidora
The book we're looking for is usually only read by older students studying advanced defense against the dark art. I hope Madame Pince isn't in the library. Maybe you should try out the cloak. You'll be able to go in the restricted section without being seen. I'll meet you in the common room later. Someone down here. Someone down here. There better not be anybody in there. Locomotor Mortis. Hmm. I'm sure I heard someone sneaking around here. What was that? Locomotor Mortis! Hey! You! What on earth was that? I have you! I have you! Hey! You! Locomotor Mortis! What's going on here? Locomotor Mortis! Hey! You! Hey! You! Someone down here. What's going on here? Should be in the Gryffindor common room, Potter. Get going. Hmm. 
I'm sure I heard someone sneaking around here. Gotcha! There better not be anybody in there. There's someone round here. What was that noise?
Wrong. A pumpkin pasty. Pumpkin pasty. <laughs> right. Second floor, reading room, past the library and into the annex, through portrait. Got it. What was that noise? Nintendo! Spongify! Stink pellets! A pumpkin pasty. A pumpkin pasty. to not be anybody in there.
was that? There's someone down here. What's going on here? Hey, you! I have you. There's someone down here. What was that noise? A pumpkin pasty! Who's there? Hey, you! Hey, you! Hmm. I'm sure I heard someone sneaking around here.
What? What be the bed at midnight, you go thirsty? Tut, tut, tut. Naughty, naughty. You'll get caught in. What's that you got there, Potter? Please, please. Let me see it. Give it here. It doesn't belong to you. discovered the delights of the Mirror of Erised. I didn't know it's called that, sir. Can you think what the Mirror of Erised shows us all? It... well... it shows me my family. Let me give you a clue. The happiest man on Earth would look into the mirror and see only himself exactly as he is. So then, it shows us what we want? Whatever we want? Yes. And no, it shows us nothing more or less than the deepest and most desperate desires of our hearts. You, Harry, you have never known your family. You see them standing beside you, but remember this, Harry. This mirror gives us neither knowledge nor truth. Men have wasted away in front of it even gone mad. That is why, tomorrow, it will be moved to a new home. And I must ask you not to go looking for it again. It does not do to dwell on dreams, Harry, and forget to live. I think I should take this for now, lest it get you into trouble. Now, why don't you get off to bed? I can't believe you two. If Filch had caught you, I checked that copy of A Study of Recent Developments in Wizardry you found in the Restricted section. No mention of Nicholas Flamel. 
Shame about not finding him. Have some bacon or something. Why aren't you eating anything? It's charms class next. I've heard we're learning the incendio charm. I'm sure I've read Flamel's name somewhere. A bit early for mail, isn't it? But I never get mail. Let's open it. It's a broomstick. That's not just a broomstick, Harry. It's a Nimbus 2000. But who? You'll be able to fly anywhere around the grounds. But try not to crash into too many of the towers. Harry, Charms class is on the second floor. I'll meet you there. I'm going to check another book later. Notable magical names of our time. Might have some mention of Flamel. to go to charms class. A wizard card pack! Cornelius Agrippa Glenda Chittuk Havelock Sweeting Justice Pillywickle Glenim Stork
A wizard card pack! Tilly Toke, Archibald Alderton, Gwenog Jones, Salazar Slytherin, Kwong Po. Lost telescope. I bet someone needs this for their astronomy lesson. Flitwick's teaching us incendio this morning, Harry. Let's go in. Find a seat, students. Good morning, class. Today's lesson will most assuredly involve learning how to cast the appositely named Bluebell Flames. The proper incantation for this charm is Incendio. Once you have managed to collect the Incendio spellbook, the Incendio charm will be yours. You must then return here to the classroom. In here, Harry.
shield. shield. Wizard card! Xavier Rastrick, 1750 to 1836. Flamboyant wizard entertainer who vanished unexpectedly while tap dancing to a crowd of 300 in Painswick and was never seen again. Cake.
Wrong! Card pack. Uric the Oddball. Tilly Toke. Donahan Tremlett. Greta Catchlove. Mungo Bonham. Pumpkin pasty. You moths. You moths. You moths. A cauldron cake. Shield. 
children cake. What's it? The Incendio Spellbook! Nintendo! Incendio! Incendio!
shield. A challenge shield. A pumpkin pasty. A pumpkin pasty. A cauldron cake. A challenge shield. A wizard card!
Incendio! Incendio! An outstanding display, Mr. Potter. You receive the highest grade, a distinction. Well done. The incendio charm can light certain braziers to reveal secrets. Yes, Mr. Potter? Harry! What's up? It's Neville. You've got to come to the common room quickly. The Chudley Cannons are doing well this year. Kaput. Password? What happened? Leg Leg -locker -locker. Curse. Malfoy! Inside the library. He said he'd been looking for someone to practice that on. You're worth 12 of Malfoy. The sorting hat chose you for Gryffindor, didn't it? And where's Malfoy? His thinking Slytherin. Thanks, Harry. I think I'll go to bed. Do you want the card? You collect them, don't you? <gasps> I found him. I found Flamel. Listen to this. Dumbledore is particularly famous for his defeat of the dark wizard Grindelwald in 1945, the discovery of the 12 uses of dragon's blood, and his work on alchemy with his partner, Nicholas Flamel. I knew the name sounded familiar.
There's more to life than Quidditch, you know. Anyway, I'm worn out. I'm off to bed. There's more to life than Quidditch, you know. Thanks very much for finding the telescope, Harry. Have a wizard card. Neville's toad! He'll be happy to see Trevor again. Word. Caput Draconis. Thanks for finding Trevor for me, Harry. I really appreciate it. Have a wizard card.
The Chudley Cannons are doing well this year. Ah, uh, Potter. Anything interesting happened last night? There's more to life than Quidditch, you know. Ah, uh, Potter. Anything interesting happened last night? Fancy trading wizard cards, Harry?
The wizard hat. I'd better return it to the common room. shield. A pumpkin pasty. A cauldron cake.
Defendo! Shield. A pumpkin pasty. Pumpkin pasty. Pumpkin pasty. Cool, an owl treat. A cauldron cake. Pumpkin pasty.
Burn shield. A pumpkin pasty. A cauldron cake. shield. You moths! A challenge shield. Cake.
shield. shield a cauldron cake shield. An outstanding play, Mr. Potter. You received the highest grade and d distinction. Well done. Definite improvement, Potter. Good work.
Sun Shield. A pumpkin pasty. Pumpkin pasty. A challenge shield. Come 
Spongify! Nintendo! Spongify! shield. Defend! 
Shield. Spongify. Spongify. shield.
pancake. Pumpkin pasty.
take. Word. Caput Draconis. I 
really appreciate you finding the wizard hat, Harry. Thanks, and here's a wizard card. Pumpkin pasty! Spongify! 
Shield. A challenge shield. Shield.
Defendo! Defendo! Shield.
Prison card! Shield. A challenge shield. Morgan Le Fay, Donaghan Tremlett, Bowman Wright, Gwenog Jones, Queen Maeve. display, Mr. Potter. You receive the highest grade, a distinction. Well done. Definite improvement, Potter. Good work.
Dear Harry, I heard Professor Snape ask you to find some moon dew for your potions class. I can't believe he would ask such a thing. Moon dew only comes out at night and it's found deeper into the Forbidden Forest than is safe for a first year to go. Meet me in my garden tonight and I'll take you to where it grows. That way you'll be safe. Hagrid. Be careful, Harry. Hagrid's bound to be in his hut. Big snout. Come here. Dung bombs. A cauldron cake. Stink pellets. Fishy sardine flavor. A cauldron cake. Bombs. A cauldron cake. Dung bombs. Stink pellets. Dung bombs. Bombs. Stink pellets. Mmm, <laughs> peppermint. Anything else? Must be hearing things. I have you. Hey, you.
have you. What was that noise? Is that you, Harry? Hurry up. I want to get started. Right then. Now, listen carefully, because it's dangerous what we're going to do tonight, and I don't want no one taking risks. There's a unicorn in there being hurt badly by Summit. This is the second time in a week. I found one dead last Wednesday. Could a werewolf be killing the unicorns? Not fast enough. It's not easy to catch a unicorn. They're powerful magic creatures. I never knew one to be hurt before. And what if whatever hurt the unicorn finds us first? There's nothing that lives in the forest that'll hurt you if you're with me right now. Follow me.
wizard card! You moths! You moths! You all right there, Harry? The, the unicorn's dead, Hagrid. It's in that clearing back there. What was that thing? A monstrous creature. It is a terrible crime to slay a unicorn. Drinking the blood of a unicorn will keep you alive even if you are an inch from death, but at a terrible price. For you have slain something so pure that from the moment the blood touches your lips, you will have a half-life, a cursed life. But who would choose such a life? Can you think of anyone? Some say he died. Codswallop, in my opinion. Don't know if he'd enough human left in him to die. Do you mean to say that that thing that killed the unicorn, that was drinking its blood, that was Voldemort? I'm saying nothing. Let's get going. You want to be careful out here, Harry. Guy trashes sometimes roam the grounds at night. Big, horrible dog spirits. You'd better have your Lumos spell handy to scare them off. You mean, you know who's out there, right now, in the forest? But he's weak, he's living off the unicorns. But if he comes back, you don't think he'd try to kill you, do you? I think if he'd have had the chance, he might have tried to kill me last night. And to think, I've been worried about my potions lesson. You've got to learn how to mix the antidote to common poisons. I hope you've collected all of the ingredients. flavor mm, peppermint mm, mm, peppermint
Defendo! Be a floral worm. Now, how do I get the mucus? Defendo! Defendo! like the shape of a flower worm. A cauldron cake!
Incendio! Cake. A pumpkin pasty. Mmm, <laughs> coconut. I need Pretendo! to find somewhere to put these gnomes. Pretendo! Defender! 
you have collected all the required ingredients for the antidote to common poisons. The antidote to common poisons is in the large cauldron over there. You can fill your potion vial when required. Quidditch against Slytherin today? Good luck, Potter. Then again, now that you've proven yourself against a troll, a little game of Quidditch should be easy work for you. Even if it is against my boys. Mr. Potter, you are testing my patience. Now get to your next lesson. That was... disturbing. I'll tell you what's disturbing. Snape smiling. Quidditch against Slytherin, eh? It'll really wipe the smiles of their faces if we win. Just as long as we're not wiping you off the field. Come on, Harry. Follow me. Today, we're going to see Slytherin play Gryffindor in the last match of the year. Lee Jordan here commentating on what might turn out to be the game of the year. Slytherin versus Gryffindor. The two teams are pretty evenly matched, but only one will be the winner today. I'm sure everyone's been looking forward to this match. I know I have. And there's the snitch, and Potter's after it. Potter edges into the lead. going to hurt. Potter's back on his broom. It's within his cross. Potter nudges ahead. He's going to have to get close again. Look out, Potter. It's within his cross. Fantastic flying. Don't know what Harry thinks he's doing. If I didn't know better, I'd say he'd lost control of his broom. Maybe something happened to it when Flint blocked him. No, can't nothing interfere with a broomstick except powerful dark magic. No kid could do that to a Nimbus 2000.
And the quaffle is passed. Look out, Potter! Slytherin shoots! And Slytherin scores! Jinxing the broom. What do we do? Leave it to me. Flint! A shot at goal! A shot goes wrong! <laughs> Slytherin will really be kicking themselves after that performance. Got him that ahead! Harry Potter's flying really well. Oh. Incendio. Ow. from the youngest seeker in a hundred years. Just look at Potter go. Potter nudges ahead. Ah. Well, that's unfortunate. Unfortunate nothing. He's got the snitch! Well done, Harry. Harry! It was Snape. Hermione and I saw him. He was cursing your broomstick, muttering. He wouldn't take his eyes off you. I know a jinx when I see one. I've read all about them. We've got to go to Dumbledore. Come on, Harry, let's go. What are you three doing? We want to see Professor Dumbledore. See Professor Dumbledore? Why? It's sort of secret. Professor Dumbledore left ten minutes ago. He received an urgent owl from the Ministry of Magic and flew off for London at once. He's gone? Yes, Mr. Potter. Gone. And so should you be. Goodbye. Nothing more we can do. I'm for bed.
anyway. I'm worn out. I'm off to bed. I knew it! I knew it! I never thought to look in here. I got this out of the library weeks ago for a bit of light reading. This is right! Nicholas Flamel is the only known maker of the Philosopher's Stone. The what? Oh, honestly, don't you two read? Of course! Here it is! Nicholas Flamel is the only known maker of the Philosopher's Stone. The Philosopher's Stone is a legendary substance with astonishing powers. It'll transform any metal into pure gold and produces the elixir of life, which will make the drinker immortal. Immortal? It means you never die. The only stone currently in existence belongs to Mr. Nicholas Flamel, the noted alchemist who last year celebrated his 665th birthday. No wonder we couldn't find Flamel in that A study of recent developments in wizardry book. He's not exactly recent if he's 665, is he? That's what Fluffy's guarding on the third floor. That's what's under the trap door. The Philosopher's Stone. Come on, Harry. We've got to stop Snape. A stone that makes gold and stops you from ever dying. No wonder Snape's after it. Snape doesn't want the stone for himself. He wants the stone for Voldemort. With the elixir of life, Voldemort will be strong again. He'll... he'll come back. What do we do? We go down the trap door. Tonight. Well, if that's what it's going to take, follow me to the third floor. You really think it's Professor Snape behind all this? We'd better go before someone catches us. Wait a minute, he's snoring. Look, it's obvious Snape's already got past Fluffy. If you two want to go back, don't be stupid. We're coming. Right then, I'll go first. Don't follow until I give a sign. If something bad happens, get yourselves out. 
Does it seem a bit quiet to you? Yuck! What's this runny stuff? What's this stuff? Dunno. I suppose it's here to break the fall. Lucky it's here, really. Lucky? Ron! Ron, where are you? Over here, Harry! Don't worry, Ron. We'll rescue you. Just hold on. I know what this is. It's Devil's Snare. Oh! I'm so glad we know what it's called. That's a great help! Shut up! I'm trying to remember how to kill it. Well, hurry up! I can't breathe! Devil's snare, devil's snare. What did Professor Sprout say? Dances in the dark, delights in the damp. Yes, of course! You have to cast Defindo to get rid of the tentacles and then use Incendio. Harry, you take that side and I'll take this side. Oh, it was nothing. Lucky you pay attention to herbology, Hermione. Curious. I've never seen birds like these. They're not birds. They're keys, and I'll bet one of them fits that door. Alohomora! Well, it was worth a try. Oh, what are we going to do? There are hundreds of them. We're looking for a big old-fashioned one. Probably gold. Like the handle. There, I see it. The one with the bright blue wings.
Where's Ron? He went on ahead. What? It's a chess challenge. He's better at chess than both of us. He should have waited. We're in this together. Let's go in, Harry. We need to make sure Ron's okay. He'll be all right. What do you think he's trying to do before he... I think we've got to destroy all the white pieces. I'll go. Be careful, Harry! Now what do I do? Looks like you're playing black. Step up to the black knight, Harry. I'm sure you can always change your mind and move a different piece. Then, when you're sure of which piece you want to move, and to which square, you make your move. Okay, I'll give it a go. King to B4. to F2 Knight to D2 to C5 Knight to C5 I'm sure he'll be alright. Listen, you've got to get him to the hospital when, then go straight to the Owlery and send Hedwig to Dumbledore. I might be able to hold off Snape for a while, but I'm no match for him really. You're a great wizard, Harry Potter. You are, you know. 
I'm not as good as you are. Me? Books and cleverness? There are more important things. Friendship and bravery and... Oh, Harry, be careful! You! Snape! He was the... Yes, does seem the type, doesn't he? Next to him, who would suspect poor stuttering Professor Quirrell? But that day, during the Quidditch match, Snape tried to kill me. No, dear boy. I tried to kill you! And trust me, if Snape's cloak hadn't caught fire and broken my eye contact, I would have succeeded, even with Snape muttering his little counter-curse. Well, Snape's not here to save you now. Let's see if you're a match for these beautiful beasts. Sonas here he is. Potter! You must! Son, son of a scary 
Do you see? What is it? What do you see? I... I'm shaking hands with Dumbledore. I... I've won the House Cup. He lies! Let me speak to him. Master, you are not strong enough. I have strength enough for this. can sustain me, but it cannot give me a body of my own. But there is something that can, something that, conveniently enough, lies in your pocket. Stop him! Be careful, Master. The mirror is protecting you. The mirror is reflecting your power back at you, Master. Wingardium Leviosa! Wingardium Leviosa, kill him and be done. Depend on. Wingardium Leviosa, kill him. Need I sleep? No, master. Look out, 
Basta! Need I say? Fool! Get the stone! Now, as I understand it, the points stand thus. In fourth place, Hufflepuff. In third place, Ravenclaw. In second place, Slytherin. And in first place, Gryffindor. I have a few last-minute points to dish out. Let me see. Ah, yes. First, to Mr. Ronald Weasley. For the best played game of chess, Hogwarts has seen in many years. I award Gryffindor House ten points. Second, to Miss Hermione Granger. For the use of cool logic in the face of fire. I award Gryffindor House ten points. Third, to Mr. Harry Potter for pure nerve and outstanding courage. I award Gryffindor House 10 points. The House Cup ceremony will be starting soon. We should make our way to the Great Hall. Hermione's right, Harry. You don't want to miss this. We've got a real chance to beat Slytherin. Come on, Harry. Let's go. Yeah, I hope we've got enough House points to beat Slytherin. I'd really love to see Malfoy's face if we do it. Flavor, Ugh. tripe. Do I know you? Ah, yes. You're the famous Harry Potter. Pleased to meet you. Did you complete your famous witches and wizards card collection, Harry? I bet there's some still hiding around Hogwarts. The sorting ceremony song is different every year. Hurry.
coconut. card A wizard card Marmalade. I bet we've got enough house points to win the cup, Harry. Let's go in now. I want to see Malfoy squirm. The house point totals are being calculated. We come to the end of another most eventful year at Hogwarts. And so, for their many achievements and outstanding commitment to the school, it is with great pleasure that I present the House Cup to Gryffindor. <laughs> 